A scary sight getting a lot of attention. Dozens of alligators spotted in Lake Apopka. Yeah, I've never seen that many in that pond before. As we got closer, there was just more and more and more. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Never, ever seen anything like this, guys. <laughs> Looking calm from above, but holding secrets of centuries. The water bodies of our planet are always full of peculiar surprises. Infinite terror, uncanny beings, and unexpected visitors. So, hold your breath to watch the most terrifying things explored in the river that shock the whole world. Iceland has a giant worm monster. Seriously. This video went viral on the internet and aroused curiosity among people to get to know about this critter. However, they have started calling it an icy monster, or Loch Ness. Well, one can't blame them. With that uncanny appearance and movement in the water, anyone could have thought that way. Do you believe that there really is a lager floats orm? Not as a living creature. I think it's impossible. When the experts were called to give their opinion on it and to clear the buzz, they analyzed the video and took several screen captures at different times. And they had some theories. According to them, it could have been a new unidentified species, or perhaps a piece of junk lying static and creating the perfect illusion. This means that even they were confused about its existence. But know anyone who's seen the monster? Yeah, I know, I know, actually, I know a couple of people that have seen the monster, yeah, and, and people that I believe in. While some were persistent on it being a Loch Ness monster, scientists came forward with no tangible proof, marking it a mystery. Seafood. Even though jumbo squids have earned quite some reputation as the red devils among fishermen, they are no match to a whale shark's appetite. These two species have been known to engage in underwater battles for centuries, and this footage most probably captured the ending moments of one battle between these two. This footage was released in March 2023 and soon went viral among audiences as they were intrigued to witness the aftermath of an encounter between two of the ocean's deepest creatures. These battles mostly happen in the ocean depths, and so far, little to no video footage of their encounters have been recorded by experts, making this sight a true marvel. Lifeless Serpent Steering his kayak through a narrow area was not the only problem this kayaker faced on his trip. As he moved through the water to catch the ordinary fish, he got a jump scare from a lifeless serpent. Now, that does not sound like a nice fishing trip. The kayaker grabbed it out of curiosity and examined its body for a while. Turns out, it had been stuck in this trap a while ago and was left stranded until someone could get it out. After getting amused by his find, the man left the snake in the water. Shocking water. This kayaker was simply enjoying the serenity of the river when he got to experience the most bizarre recurrence. I can't even imagine how scary it must have been to stay in the middle of an unknown creature splashing water from beneath. Even though this man thought he was in the presence of some otherworldly demon, the reality is actually not so terrifying. This happened due to the kayaker accidentally scaring a bunch of manatees who were chilling right below him and went into defensive mode. So if you ever go out in the open ocean, make sure you don't get too close to the manatees. Alligator Buffet No, there's no way I would move my boat from a place like that. This bizarre get-together of alligators was experienced by a fisherman at the Okefenokee Swamp, and he had some guts to drive his boat from this area. These caimans had gathered around for a nice feast, and it was like a party for them. I ain't never seen so many gators in my life. According to the fisherman, it was the first time he had seen them in such numbers. Crazy Carps Imagine going on a fishing trip 
and instead of you catching the fish, they start jumping out of the water to get to you. This is exactly what happened to this group of friends who went to a remote river and were surprised to be greeted by a large number of invasive silver carp. It's like these fish were offended to have them in their territory and were trying their best to get them out of the water. As bizarre as it looks, silver carp are famous for their wild jumps, especially when boats zoom by, turning calm waters into fishy fireworks. Originally from Asia, they were brought to help clean ponds, but escaped into the wild and became a problem because of their unusual appetite. Monster Catfish A fisherman was exploring a remote lake in his area, and it was a normal day for him until his fishing line landed in the mouth of this huge fish. Oh, putain. No. At first, it swam towards his boat, but then made a swift appearance on the surface. And at first, he thought he might have caught some kind of a Loch Ness monster. Yes. Just look at the size of that thing. I mean, anyone would think they're onto some mythical being but it was just a giant catfish that successfully escaped this trivial trap. There's no way he could have reeled that one in. Curious Sea Lions While passing through the Coffin Rock in Oregon, a visitor saw something that looked like an uptight conference between a large pod of stellar sea lions. Now I know these animals are commonly seen living in groups, but it's odd how they acted so suspiciously upon being caught by the man. They all jumped in the water and even circled around the boat as if they were trying to figure out if he had not heard their plans of taking over the world. Luckily, he managed to walk past them and was safe from whatever they were going to do to him. I'll make sure to stay away from a herd of sea lions whenever I see them. Hippo pool. In a big face-off, the river turned into a fight zone where hippos went head to head with an alligator, like a sudden invasion at home. The whole scene felt like a clip from an exciting movie with more hippos than the alligator, with more hippos than the alligator, giving them the upper hand. Got him big time. Alligators are undoubtedly tough animals but they normally do not go face to face with hippos. I wonder why this one decided to challenge the giants. The alligator fought well, but the unexpected rush from the opponents got the better of him. The air got tense as the huge hippos pushed back against the caiman. It was a simple setup, just water and two fierce species. I'm sure this caiman won't be going near any hippo ever again. Gray Friend. You must have heard that whales are one of the kindest species in the water. Here's a video that proves it. A group of tourists had the most overwhelming experience when a gray whale decided to explore their boat. Come on, come see me, I want a pet. Come on, come on. These species qualify as friendly giants. They do not pose any threats to people at sea but instead they swim toward boats and poke their heads vertically out of the water to get a better view of their surroundings, a behavior called spy hopping. Oh, upside down. Family picture. Extra skin. Oh. <laughs> These people also experienced the same thing when a giant gray whale swam toward them poked its head out of the water, and people delicately patted it on the face, which the animal really seemed to enjoy. After a while, it went back to the depths of the ocean, leaving the people with a beautiful memory and experience. River Dragon. <laughs> the Thai rivers might be teeming with the most horrifying creatures like crocodiles, but one particular day, the locals got to experience something far more terrifying than their imagination. They had heard rumors of a river dragon floating on the water surface, and everyone rushed to see it for themselves. 
To their surprise, this odd being had made its way to the surface and had created a horrifying sight for everyone, as they all thought that it was the Naga, a deity believed to take up the form of a snake. Even the local monks claimed it to be the Naga. However, the online and scientific world had clashes with these claims. Giant Snake While exploring a remote river, this man came across something moving under his boat, and it was not anything ordinary. According to him, he had encountered something far more unimaginable than any normal being. He claimed that it was a 20 meter long anaconda. I'm surprised how he even had the guts to touch this thing, moving just inches away from him. However, when the video surfaced on the internet, people were skeptical as anacondas don't normally move like that in water. Some marine experts have also disputed the claim, suggesting it might be something else. The creature had a rigid body that resembled wood, leading some viewers to dub it a wooden creature. However, the slithering movement at the end of the video gives a different perspective of this encounter. Boeing Tragedy In addition to the typical fish, plants, and trees that inhabit the waters, the Montana River got to experience something unusual. In July 2014, people were shocked to see three Boeing 737 jets and components tumble in the water, and all their thoughts went to one possibility. But the reality was different. These jets and components got there after a train derailment. He's trying to assess some damage that happened over the weekend. A couple of jets and a few jet components were on a train and uh, the train was heading to Washington State where, um, look at that, 737s are going to be assembled. Instead, the uh, train derailed in Montana and the 737 fuselages went tumbling down. I mean, um, it's, I mean it's an amazing story. When I, when I first saw it, I, I mean, I didn't know what to make. These fuselages were being taken to Washington for assembly, but took an unexpected dive into the river, leaving everyone to calculate the damage they'll have to pay. Big Guy the shore of Tampa Bay had taken up a grim scene when red waves brought forward a huge 700-pound grouper, and officials were taken aback by the sheer magnitude. This animal was so big that a machine was used to lift it. People were surprised to see such a huge creature and felt somewhat concerned for our wildlife. At first, the actual cause of its demise remained unknown to everyone. But later, after deep investigations, a red tide was held accountable for this sad event. Prehistoric Fish Let's take a little tour back in time. A group of shark fishermen were working off the coast of Madagascar when they caught this fish, which was believed to be near extinction, and it was rediscovered by them. The coelacanth, with a history going back 420 million years, is referred to as the four-legged fossil fish, and it's alive and well in the Indian Ocean. They have eight fins, large eyes, a small mouth, and a unique pattern of white spots, allowing each fish to be individually identified. Such ocean discoveries take us back in time and make us realize how evolution has played out everywhere. It was a discovery to hold our breath, for sure. Wrong Location One of the reasons why you never step into a water body other than a private pool. These kayakers went to their nearest lake for some fun and got to experience something a little more than what they expected when a massive bull shark started rocking their vessel. Holy shit, that's a huge shark. Would have thought encountering these massive predators in the river is also a thing. Turns out, bull sharks are perfectly capable of surviving even in freshwater and are known to end up in lakes on different occasions. Would you be willing to go swimming in a river after hearing this? Real Life Gollum Plantation workers in Borneo could not believe their eyes when they saw Gollum from Lord of the Rings crawl out of the river right in front of them. It was like they had stepped into some kind of a mythical world. The men were so afraid of what it was, or what it could do, that they decided to just film it from a distance and not get too close to the creature. Even though they had no answers for what it was, the reality of this encounter was later revealed. Once the video was uploaded online, some officials stated that it could be a malnourished sun bear that had lost its hair to an unknown disease. 
Croxy. Imagine you walk by a bridge, and instead of the usual river, there are hundreds of crocodiles resting in the mud. This actually happened in Pantanal, Brazil, when a visitor stumbled across this site. Temos brother! Olha a chuva! The usually calm river now looked like a sea of little crocs. Any normal person would get nightmares from a scene like that. Weird sounds of hissing filled the air, making everything even scarier. The crocs may have been little, but seeing so many in one place can scare any normal person. Heart racing, the man decided to step back, leaving the bizarre sight for his own safety. But the memory of that croc sea stuck with him. Group lunch. Is there some kind of group lunch going on in animals? Here's another example of dozens of birds feasting at the Bill Williams River. Although it's not very uncommon for aquatic birds to gather around in groups, here's a fun fact about this site. Different types of merganser ducks, cormorants, and grebs were invited to this feast, and they seem to be enjoying their time. Now, I know it might sound like an odd thing, but according to experts, birds in mixed species flocks are more likely to spot potential food sources. So this was just cousins helping each other get some incredible lunch. Rising land. <laughs> this unusual video of land rising from beneath a river in Haryana went viral and had a large group of people scratching their heads. <laughs> With little to no information, some started saying that a leviathan might be coming to the surface. Others even went as far as calling it the signs of the end of times. However, once the video was reviewed by experts, they came forward with a logical answer. This could have happened because methane trapped under the surface escaped into the air, where the soil got swollen up due to heavy rains. So no need to worry about any problems in this area. Brunei Monster Exploring the murky waters of Brunei River got a lot more challenging for a group of locals when they witnessed this creepy creature emerge on the surface. Even the cameraman was so shocked that he couldn't hold his camera steady. Now, I'm no animal expert, but I know for sure that no normal fish is supposed to look like that. Rumors of a river monster ready to take over the area were soon spread among locals, but the creature was never seen again by anyone. Unknown Carcass The murky waters of a river in Paraguay were haunted by the presence of this unknown river animal's carcass that seemed to resemble no known species inhabiting the area. The humanoid body structure and an insect-like skull created an unsolvable puzzle for the locals, who were scared that it could have been a chupacabra. Farmers in the area had even been losing their cattle just days before this appearance. Could it be an actual chupacabra carcass or just a bloated animal? I guess we'll never know for sure. Great White in Pond I used to feel safe while enjoying my time at the rivers because there, of course, wouldn't be any sharks in there. Well, let me go ahead and ruin that thought for you. In 2011, a great white shark managed to make its way to the Massachusetts salt pond and stayed there for almost a week until authorities got the giant back to where it belonged. Yeah, I think I might just unpack my picnic gear for my next river trip. Here's the thing, it's not usual for these predatory fish to come to shallow ponds, and this appearance does have a specific reason behind it. According to locals, a bad storm with an unusually high tide opened up this salt pond, which let the shark in to terrorize our simple picnic plants. So if you ever want to go out, make sure you consider the weather beforehand. Piranhas on the Loose we all think sharks are the bad boys of the water, but wait till you see piranhas in action. Don't underestimate these critters for their small size. They can take on almost anything and any one that enters a river. These men decided to put their efficiency to the test and dropped some bait in the water, only to create a boiling effect in the area. <laughs> These are piranhas devouring their meal within seconds. Those razor-sharp teeth can take anything and vanish it into thin water. Watching their efficiency just unlocked a new fear for me while visiting any water body. 
sneaky croc. Encountering a crocodile in the river is all fun and games, until the reptile decides that it wants more of a close-up meet-and-greet with you. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, man. This is so close, man. This man was all excited to see a crocodile swimming just inches away from him and got carried away. This is when it decided to teach him a lesson and had a mischievous idea. Watch out. What the fuck with this monster? The crocodile first stopped for a split second and then jumped over the boat trying to go for a hug. Looks like he made an entirely new language out of fear. River Mermaid What if I told you there would be a slim chance of the mythical creatures being real? Sounds impossible. Yet some locals got to experience the presence of a mermaid in their river and were left questioning what is real and what is not. According to the spectators, this poor creature had lost its way during high tides and ended up in the freshwater river. Even though they were persistent in their claims, once the video was uploaded online, different speculations came forward, as people were not willing to accept a mermaid in real life. What do you think? Could it be a real mermaid? Bizarre Water a kayaker got to experience the most bizarre thing while exploring Lake Norman when he saw some mysterious bubbling on the water surface, and there seemed to be no apparent source for it. It looks like there's some, uh, some kind of foam or something, a little bit kind of like suds. The kayaker seemed to be clueless about what was happening around him, and even mentioned that there was no gas spewing out. Once the video was shared online, the people had some of the weirdest explanations. Some claimed that there could be a Nessie breathing underwater. This is very strange. <clears throat> I'm out in uh, 38 feet of water. While others took a more logical approach by suggesting that it was an underwater spring. What do you think caused this bubbling? Tire Necklace Shifting our focus to Indonesia, where a crocodile has finally been freed after nearly six years. The crocodile was trapped in a rubber tire since 2016. Residents of Indonesia had witnessed a crocodile roaming in their rivers with a motorcycle tire wrapped around its neck. And even though everyone wanted to help this poor soul get rid of it, they were not sure how it could be done with their limited resources. Even the authorities had sent out an order that whoever helped the reptile would be getting a reward in turn. Finally, after six years of roaming in the waters with the tire, a group of locals managed to get their hands on the crocodile and use their available resources to get it free from the rubbery necklace. It can now spend the rest of its time in peace and with no restrictions. Monster Gator This man was about to jump into the river without knowing that an actual gator was waiting for him to get in and become his meal. It first looked like part of the swamp. The rough, scaly skin matches those waters and perfectly blends in. But don't be fooled by its first impression. These monster gators have the perfect camouflaging capabilities. You'll be surprised to see the size of this creature once it makes its way to the surface. Oh, oh my oh god. Oh my god. This giant measures almost 15 feet in length and was spotted in Florida. So if you ever get to visit the river or swamps, make sure you stay alert. This creature is like an underwater ghost. Giant Shark. Visitors in Gensbai, South Africa, had the most surprising experience when they found a two-meter male great white shark stuck on the rocks that still had some life left in it and was hoping to get back in the ocean. The people who found this shark decided to help it by bringing it to the deeper water, so they gathered around and held it together for one last chance at life. There was hope in the air as everyone worked really hard to get this amazing predator back into the water. But despite all their trying, luck wasn't on their side, and the shark couldn't make it back home. You could see how much the people cared, and as they tried everything to help the stuck creature, it just goes to show the strong connection and dedication people have for these sea animals. Monster Catch 
Jeremy, along with his crew, were looking for a giant bull shark at the river's mouth, but the river had a surprise in store. After a long time of waiting and some tense struggle, they reeled in not a shark, but a massive Queensland grouper. This behemoth had come up from the depths, weighing around 250 pounds and boasting a history of gender transformation for survival. This unexpected encounter was far from their target, yet equally thrilling. It shows that everything does not always go as planned in nature, but they do turn out better than anticipated. Bulging Anaconda a fortunate fisherman hooked something truly astonishing in a little lake. People normally encounter anacondas during their river expeditions, but this group found one that had a mysterious bulge in its body. The sight left the fisherman utterly amazed. It was like nothing he'd ever seen before. The mysterious creature stirred curiosity and became a puzzle for everyone around. It seemed like this colossal snake had just finished up an even bigger meal that was clearly too big for the stomach. Anacondas are known to bite on meals several times bigger than their jaws, and they do so successfully due to their marvelous jaw anatomy. A Lost Battle I know we've seen alligators winning almost every battle they get themselves into, but they are no match for the colossal snakes of the rivers. A guy found something huge in a little water spot that looked like a giant snake or perhaps an anaconda, all twisted up, guarding its unique meal. A caiman! I'm surprised how this guy managed to stop by and film this bizarre sight, even after being scared and surprised. This snake had a crazy big size as it filled up a big part of the small water body, showing it wasn't just some normal snake. Marine Mystery Back in November 2018, rumors of an actual mermaid sighting spread all over South Sulawesi, Indonesia, leaving everyone wondering about our aquatic cousins. <laughs> Some local fishermen found this strange species washed ashore on the beach and were struggling to understand what they had caught. At first, it seemed like a regular fish, but once they pulled it out of the water and laid it on the boat for further examination, reality kicked in. It didn't resemble any normal fish they had known before. All they could think of was a mermaid, and rightly so. However, they quickly called the relevant authorities, who arrived just in time and were skeptical that it could be a manatee. Yet, they still took this mysterious giant with them. Their research is still ongoing. And let's see what they found out, whether it's another mysterious fish or a real-life mermaid. Massive Wave Now that was truly petrifying. This family experienced a scene they will remember for a long time. And now, they'll have quite the tale to tell. It seemed like a massive, developing tide in the water. But upon closer look, it wasn't a tide. Instead, it was some giant creature swimming around their boat. A tidal wave like that could only be made by a massive creature. And as you know, large fish don't follow boats without a plan in their heads. This one was definitely on the lookout to hunt its food. However, they sped up their boat, pulling levers at its full speed, and prayed to God to reach a safe place before the shark could get to them. So guys, this incident has proven that not every spectacular sighting is worth experiencing. Some are better left avoided for your own good. Alien's Hand A refreshing walk on a beach in Ilha Comprida, Brazil, took an unexpected turn for a couple who came across a massive alien hand with long, bony fingers. The footage shows five long fingers attached to a thicker bone. Na ilha comprida, e olha o que a gente acha, tropeça. Presenting an uncanny resemblance to human hand structures. A marine biologist suggested that the skeletal hand likely belonged to a cetacean an aquatic mammal like whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Based on the images and the state of decomposition, some suggested it to be extraterrestrial remains. 
However, according to biologists, it could be the decomposing body of a cetacean that may have washed ashore after passing away at sea. Glowing Giant If you ever get a chance to go deep into the ocean, don't be surprised to see the ocean light up. It could be a glowing giant called a pyrosome. They look like this one giant long structure that one might love to pinch. But don't dare try this pinching thing with pyrosomes. These are free-floating colonies of zooids in the open ocean, where they filter feed on microscopic plankton. The colonies of zooids are connected by tissue to communicate and coordinate behavior, such as propelling the colony through the water. Pyrosome colonies can range in size from a few centimeters up to 60 feet long, which is big enough for a human to swim through the internal cavity. Crumbled Past Scientists were exploring the depths of the ocean when they came across this mysterious creature resting on the sea floor. Due to being incomplete, they could not figure out what exactly it was, but it was still fascinating for them to find something at such depths. This discovery left even the smart folks wondering who this giant creature was and how it ended up down there. Experts believe that this might belong to a basking shark that took up a fight with the wrong opponent and ended up in the deep sea zone. However, no one is still sure about its actual identification. It's a mystery that's making everyone feel like underwater detectives. It's time for today's open discussion. Watching a killer whale far from a distance can force you to run for your life. Just imagine the horror faced by this group who witnessed this terrifying sight when 300 orcas gathered in one spot. Once in a life sighting. That's surprising and scary at the same time. The people on the boat were shocked by the sheer number of these big creatures, all coming together in this special gathering. Fortunately, it was not them at their target, but this biggest gathering of orcas was just to feed on the giant school of herring and were busy enjoying their feast. By the end of this encounter, the passengers sailed away with a unique story of witnessing 300 orcas in one place. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.